What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another Makeup Artist Monday. It's artistry like BAM. Alright guys, so this week, if you have been following along, last week we did a traditional um, smoky eye soft glam bridal tutorial. This week we're going to be doing more of a classic bridal tutorial and then next week we're going to be doing a little bit more of a full glam. So if you're a full glam girl, wait till next week's video. If you want to see a classic bridal transformation, today's going to be the day. I'm going to be transforming my face into a very beautiful classic makeup. Um, classic bridal makeup is usually all about really balanced features, really beautiful skin, really soft brows, and then a finished lip. So I'm going to teach you guys how to do that look today so that that sounds like something you're interested in stay tuned it's not going to be a one two step of each every single step i do in a bridal makeup that would be forever long i'm just going to show you a little bit of the meat and potatoes on how to get a really classic bridal face so let's get right into it starting off this look i went ahead and went in with a light brown brow pencil to frame my face filling in the brows first just really helps to give me a little bit of a background and a little bit more structure so that i know where i'm going with my look Going in here with the wax based pencil, it helps to give me a little bit more shape and actually holds the hairs down in place, which is nice. And then you'll see me take a spoolie brush and comb through it so that it holds all the hairs down and will actually make them go all the same direction. So that way I don't have to worry about anything moving throughout the day. Using a Bobbi Brown eyeshadow pencil, this is in the color taupe, just to give me a really, really even base. Quickly applying that all over and then blending it out with the blending brush. Next we're going in with some neutral browns so I can start by carving out my crease and just doing a little bit of sculpting on the eye. This is going to be really natural and really balanced and really fresh. Nothing over dramatic or to pull too much attention to the eye. Next I'm applying a cream eyeshadow to brighten up the lid. This is really nice because it allows the lid to be really flesh colored but also really bright. So anything I go and put on top will actually look just really nice. I'm actually going in with a face powder to neutralize this and just to set it and blend everything out. Now taking an angled eyeliner brush with a little bit of gel eyeliner on it just to kind of quickly define my upper lash line. This helps with this look because it's really bold. It defines the eye but it doesn't pull too much focus. It just looks really pretty effortless and it photographs really nicely. To help sculpt the face, I'm going to go in with a brightener that I've mixed together with the illuminator and a corrector that's sculpted correctly for me. Using an eyeshadow brush, you can see me blending out that brightener just right under the eye and on the cheekbone. This will be really beautiful once we go in with the foundation to blend everything together. It photographs really nicely and you'll see in just a second. Going over it with my foundation, this will help balance out the look and bring it back together. Give me a little bit more warmth in my skin. This will help the under eye brightener not seem so bright. And you'll see it in just a second once everything blends together. I'm using a synthetic blending brush just to kind of buff and blend over. And then we'll go in over with a little bit of contour and blush and highlight to sculpt and make everything really beautiful and sculpted. Now I'm going in with some cheek product just to make sure that my cheeks look really perfected, sculpted, warm, have a little bit of color to them. And you'll see that I am going to go in and do the other side in just a second so everything looks really beautiful and polished and perfect. Getting it a little bit closer this time to finish off the lip. You'll see that I've done the other side. This is a Charlotte Tilbury lip pencil in the color medium. We're going to go in with this and then finish with a lip gloss right over top. This was a really beautiful combo because it's like my lips 
but it's a little bit better, a little bit more pigmented, and it'll last all night because we put that lip liner down first. When a bridal client hires me, I definitely go in and work with them and spend my time to perfect their skin, customize the makeup, and make everything look really beautiful. This is just something that I wanted to help create so that you guys could see what a balanced, natural, classic makeup looks like. like using a nude lipstick from the palette I created. Finishing off the look with a little bit of Euphoria Gloss, which is my new favorite in the color 3AM. This is really beautiful and will photograph so nice. Alright guys, so I went ahead and finished off this classic bridal look, finished off the other side and did this lip. This is a really beautiful natural neutral lip that just mimics my natural lip color and just punches it up just a little bit. That's what I prefer for my natural lip. You can choose whatever bridal makeup you like out there. Choose with your makeup artist if you want more of a bolder eye, a bolder lip. But what really makes this a classic bridal makeup is that every feature is really defined and really natural, but it's also really balanced. So you can see that my eyes are defined, you can see that my lip is there, you can see that my skin and my cheek is perfected, but nothing is jumping out, nothing is super crazy, nothing is super bold. So it's just very classic, natural, and neutral. So, all right, guys, thank you so much for watching this Makeup Artist Monday. I hope that you had fun this week. Next week, we're going to be doing a full glam makeup tutorial, so stay tuned for that. Subscribe down below and leave any comments that you have about this look down below as well and I'll answer those for you and until next Makeup Artist Monday guys I'll see you soon thank you so much for watching all right bye bye